Hey friends, welcome to the Lab Preschool Online Experience. My name is Miss Holly and I am so excited that you're joining us today. We are on our last week of a super cool theme where we've been learning about how to know God better. Repeat this after me. I am meant to know God. Oh, great job, friends. Well, guess what? I made a craft this week and I'm pretty excited about it. Can I show you what I made? Ta-da! It's a compass. Do you know what a compass is? A compass shows us which way to go. The letters on the compass, they mean north, east, south, and west. Those are different directions. And when we follow a compass, it shows us which way we're going. I thought that we could play a little game with this compass I made. I'm gonna spin the compass, and whichever one it lands on, we have to run that direction. Does that make sense? So if it landed on this one, it says to go back. So which way are we gonna run? Back! Okay, are you guys ready? All right, let's play. Okay, we're gonna count to three and we're all gonna say spin. Ready? One, two, three, spin! Oh, it says back! Everybody run back! Oh, good job. Okay, round two. This time we're gonna run like a kangaroo. Okay? All right, let's count together. One, two, three, spin! Left! Everybody run to the left! <laughs> Good job! Okay, one more round. Ready? This time, we are gonna hop on one leg. That one's really tricky. Okay, ready? One, two, three, spin! To the right! All right, everybody on one leg, ready? Oh, good playing, friends. I'm gonna put my compass down. That was really fun, trying to go in the right direction. Thank you for playing with me. Did you know that just like a compass shows us which way to go, God gives us people, like our parents or our Sunday school teachers, maybe even our friends, who help us know which way to go. God puts people in our life to help us learn more about Him and point us in the right direction that goes towards Him. God loves when we get to know Him better. And one way we do that is through other people. And that's our big idea today. Can we say it together? One, two, three. God shows us Himself through His people. Good job, friends. You know, another way we can learn more about God is through his book, the Bible. The Bible's full of a lot of really awesome stories that tell us more about who God is. So we have a special memory verse that's from the Bible. Let's go practice it together with Miss Sarah. Well, hello friends, I'm Miss Sarah and you know what time it is? It is memory verse time. And this month, our memory verse comes from the book of Deuteronomy 4, verse 35. And this is what it's saying to us. The Lord is God. There is no one other beside him. Deuteronomy 4, verse 35. Can we do it one more time? Oh yeah, we can. Let's do it. The Lord is God. There is no one other besides him. Deuteronomy 4, verse 35. Great job, friends. And remember, you are wonderful. Bye. Awesome job, friends. Let's go check out our Bible story now and learn about a time that God used someone named Paul to help lots of people know him more. I'll see you guys soon. Friends, we are so excited to see you. Welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Karina. I'm Emma. And my name is Ellison. But where's Bark? I think Bark is hiding. Ooh, I wonder where he could be. Can you help us spy Bark? Yes! yes. Thanks. Let's
Let's look around the clubhouse. Is Bark behind the couch? No. Hmm. Is Bark outside? No. Where could he be? Behind the toys. What? Is Bark behind the toys? Yes. There he is. Thanks for all of your help finding Bark. Together, we are a super team. Speaking of something super, did you send us something super? Yes. Let's see what it is. Here at the clubhouse, we help connect the super clue, the big deal, and the Bible. Let's check it out together and see what's inside. Ooh, that's pretty. What is it? Super cool. It's a GPS map. A GPS map helps us know which way to go when we're driving in a car. Today's big deal is I spy. God wants me to know Him. But I wonder, what does the super clue have to do with our big deal? Can you wonder with us? Oh yes, I got it. Just like we can listen to a GPS map to help know the right way to go, we can listen to people who can help us know the right way to follow God. God gives us people like friends, pastors, and family to help us know more about God and Jesus. When we listen to people who know and love God, they teach us more about Him. We can listen to the Bible together, pray together, and learn more about God. And God's people help point us in the right direction. Yes. Now. Be looking because you're gonna see the super clue again. And when you see the super clue, here's what I want you to do. Since our super clue is a GPS map, I want you to point up like a GPS and say, "Listen and follow." Let me see you try. Listen, Listen and follow. follow. Great job. Let's open the Bible and see what it says about listening and learning about God through His people. Today's story is from the book of Acts. Can you say Acts? Acts. Acts. Yes. Remember, the Bible is God's book. The Bible is true, and it's for you. Are you ready for today's Bible story? The unknown God. Paul was a person who loved God and told other people about Him. One day, Paul looked around the city of Athens. He was sad because he saw that the city was full of idols, statues that people praised and celebrated instead of celebrating the one true God. He told the people around him about the one true God. Paul also went to the marketplace to teach people about Jesus. He told them the good news about Jesus and how he rose from the dead. The people in Athens loved to hear about something new and wanted to hear more about Jesus. The people listened to Paul, but they did not understand what Paul was teaching. One person said, "What you are talking about sounds strange to us." The people invited Paul to teach because they wanted to listen and learn and talk about new ideas. Paul said, "People of Athens, I see you worship many gods. You even worship an unknown god, the god who made the world and everything in it. He is the one true god. He gives us life and breath and all things. Those who look for God will find Him. He is always with you." He is the one who sent His Son to die on the cross for us. Then God raised His Son Jesus to life. When the people heard Paul speak, some laughed. Others wanted to listen to Paul again, and some people believed Paul's words and followed Jesus. Whoa! The people listened to Paul, and he told them all about the one true God. Paul taught that God wants all people to know Him. Right. God worked through Paul to point other people to Him, to help people know God and how to follow Him. Oh, look! Do you spy our super clue? Do you remember what to do? Listen, Listen and follow. Great job! Our super clue today is a GPS map. We listen to a GPS map to know the right way to go, and we can listen to people to help us know more about God. So the next time you listen to a GPS map. You can remember that we can know God through His people. God gives us people like teachers at church, pastors, or people in our family to help us know more about Him. So. Today we learned that God wants us to know Him, and we can know God through His people. 
God's people are those who love God and tell others about Him. We can listen to what they teach us about God to help us learn more about Him. Wow, that is a big deal. Can you say today's big deal with us? I'll say it first, and then you say it after me. I spy. I spy. God wants me to know Him. God, God wants me to know Him. him. Thank you, God, for giving us people who can help us listen and learn more about you. I'm so glad that I have friends like you who can help me learn more about God. Me too. I can't wait to listen and learn together about God next time. We will see you again soon. Say bye, Vark. <laughs> bye. bye. Whoa, that was a really good Bible story. Paul helped a lot of people learn more about God and he taught them how to follow him. Can you think of anybody maybe like Paul in your life? Someone who's taught you more about God or the Bible? If you can, that's awesome. Those people are a really special gift from God. If you can't think of anybody right away, that's okay too. You could always pray and ask God to send you someone. Maybe he already has and you just didn't notice. God uses lots of people to help us learn more about him. Why don't we pray and thank God that He uses people to help us know Him better. Let's fold our hands and pray together. Dear God, thank you so much that you use people to help us know you more. I thank you for all the people in our life and I pray that you would just help us remember that you've put them in our life to bless us and to help us learn more about you. Help us to find people in our life to help us do that this week. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, thank you for hanging out with us today. We love spending time with you, and we can't wait to see you back here next week, online or in person at one of our three campuses. We'll see you then. Bye.